Aloha and welcome to my channel, Our Path to Infinite Abundance. In this channel, I share what I have learned, messages that have been given to me and that I've devoted myself to, to sharing with the world. And the very first message that I got was to anchor the light of nature's infinite abundance. And that was many years ago. And still every day I think about nature's infinite abundance. I drive down the street. I don't know what other people are looking at, but every single plant I see growing looks to me like a sacred geometry pattern, a unique pattern of infinite fractal expansion. And I understand that all plants are growing in these fractal patterns where they're infinitely expanding, infinitely reproducing and so therefore it is infinite abundance um, so I started with that and pretty soon after I um, really anchored that in myself and and wrote it down a lot and taught myself this and and really began to confirm this over and over to myself that yes this is infinitely abundant um, this is amazing. Why isn't in everyone talking about this? Um, then the next message that came through was even just as amazing. And that is that these, uh, that gardens, natural gardens are unified communities. Like they help each other. They, um, the big trees are sort of like the parents in a way, and they shelter and provide um, habitat for the smaller creatures, the smaller uh, plants that grow around them, maybe new seedlings that are popping up, maybe their own children, uh, seedlings of their own fruits could be popping up. And the older trees are there similar to our families where we have older people protecting the younger people, then younger people coming up and and it's even way more complicated than that because there are so many varieties of species all working together in a food forest um, or a natural garden. Um, if you don't like the term food forest, you could probably call it Garden of Eden or Earth Garden, um, infinitely abundant, natural garden, embracing nature. All of those things could work. Um, but you basically what I've figured out is that we have the flora, which are the plants, the fauna, which are all of the animals, and the fungi, which are all of the mushroom kingdom, the mycorrhizals and the little mushrooms that pop up. And those are the three main groups that most of us are aware of. I also believe there are um, beings in the ether, uh, spirit wisdom or something like that. I'm not exactly a hundred percent percent sure, but I'm, I'm sure there's stuff out there that we also cannot see. So, but anyway, just working with the flora, fauna and fungi, I've seen how they all work together in this intricate, intricate dance where they create together and no one would be as good without all of the others. And when they're all together, it's amazing how they can thrive and live and make a beautiful habitat for each other. It's such a beautiful, unified, biodiverse community. That's why I call it a university because it's, it's like a small universe. It's, it consists of innumerable life forms, um, those that live under the soil, those that live above the soil, those that fly in the air, that swim in the water. So this message has been really the forefront of my mind um, since I got here to this garden. And the reason I first came to this garden is because I was, I was sad because I had lost um, some of the nice gardens that I had cr begun creating and some circumstances happened that made me have to leave those gardens and I was like asking 
the universe, God, creator, or magnetizing it, attracting it in. I was like, can I please have a garden that somebody else started? So I don't have to start another garden from scratch. Like that's what we, I've done a lot, like in a little backyard, make a little garden out of the lawn and then end up having to leave. And I've made some cute gardens and, and I just wanted, I'm getting older. So I wanted to have a garden that someone else started. So it was amazing because I found this old house with a 60 year old backyard garden and the, the man and woman who built the house planted beautiful gardens back here. And not all the veggie patches were still here. Although the, the neighbor across the street has told me that they made a lot of veggie patches and grew a lot of different things. But what was still here were all of the trees that they had planted because trees can live for decades, even centuries. So when I came in here and I was like already picking fruit and nuts, it was so amazing. And I, I knew that my prayer had been answered, my request to the universe, my plea, my desire had been fulfilled. So I've been living here now for 12 years and I've been having such a, an amazing time watching nature, working with it. And I've come to see myself and all humans as co-creators. It's our perfect job to work with the garden. Um, I've, uh, I, I discovered, well, I just keep on poking around. I'm, I'm, I'm a student, a lifelong student, kind of a nerd, but I like, um, learning things. And I discovered that our urine is the best NPK fertilizer. I mean, it has a really high NPK value. So our urine is fertilizer and we all know that manure is fertilizer. And I think that human, human manure is also a good fertilizer, although I haven't tapped into processing that yet because I live in a city, but I, I'm 100% sure that if we eat healthy, our waste is going to be healthy in the garden. Um, also, when we have fires to, to cook things like um, open fires to cook our food or to heat our homes, the firewood, the ashes, and the chunks of all, uh, mostly burnt wood are a great addition to the garden as well. So just by us being here, we are helping uh, increase the soil health. And also when we do things like prune our trees, plant our seeds, um, and just like look around and make our little garden design plans. It would be fun to put a tree here that likes sun because this is a sunny spot. Oh, and here's a little one that likes shade. We can put him over here. And this kind of all this fun, creative process that you go through when you start imagining all the things you would like to grow in a garden. So it's been really an amazing life-changing journey for me. I still do a lot of the same, some of the same things. I still work in uh, accounting and I still, you know, live here in the USA. And, um, but just by having this garden, it's changed my insides. It's given me hope. It's given me something important to share with everyone. And I just found out today through a, spiritual reading like a tarot card re card reading that there are people on the planet that don't want this message to get out and i totally believe that because i feel like i've been suppressed the whole as much as possible like when i wrote my first book our path to infinite abundance introduction to food forests and i published it on amazon and I put it in the new book contest. And the way you would do that is like you put the tag um, new book 2019 in your books tags. So I put it, uh, put that tag on my book and I wasn't, I, I looked into the contest and I wasn't on the contest. So I put the tag like a bunch of times in uh, repeatedly 
And still my book never made it into the new book contest. And I thought that was really weird because I thought it was a really neat book with a great title. Like who wouldn't want to find out what our path to infinite abundance is. And same thing with my other work. Um, the next book that I came out with the eight step path to creating a food forest, it got like very little attention also, which is probably also due to the fact that I'm not that great at marketing, but I did try. I tried to get the message out there and I've always felt that it was somewhat suppressed by powers that be, whether they are inside the computers or yeah, probably um, people who just, the watchers who are watching and trying to control things. They don't want us to have an infinite abundantly su abundant supply of foods, medicines, supplies, and a healthy habitat for our earth. They would rather sell us the food, um, medicines, and other things like energy, and then make us have lack. I don't know why. That doesn't sound like a very smart plan on my part uh, to me. I like my plan. And it's not even my plan. It's a vision that I was given that I, I could see the earth in the future. And it was covered with forested gardens with lots of fruit trees and growing down on the ground, lots of uh, amazing other plants. And we as people were living in harmony with these gardens, uh, nurturing them, co-creating with them, being part of their community not a uh, lord over them, but a part of the community that has our own specific job to do. We nurture the garden and protect the garden and we get to co-create by planting what we love. So um, I really love this message. I love food forests or gardens of Eden, whatever they are to you, whatever you want to call them. And I um, really don't want to mess with the uh, the systems, taxation and all that stuff. So what I did was I made an entirely free online school called Food Forest University or Food Forest U for short. And that school, you can get it, get um, join online. It's on a beautiful platform called ClickSlow that hosts the course. It's really a fun course to learn. And I put together all the lessons in there with video, audio, and written, and images, and some uh, supporting documents. And I think it's a really fun course. And I think anyone who's interested in creating a garden um, could enjoy taking that course for free, no credit card required. And once you're inside, if you do want to like thank me by donating money for a cup of coffee or a yacht, <laughs> just kidding. Um, there's opportunity to donate inside there, but you don't ever have to, and you're not obligated to give a penny. I'm getting this out to as many people as possible for free. And I hope to keep, keep it going as long as people are interested. Um, and so I invite you to uh, look at foodforestuniversity.com and you'll be able to just, all you have to do is put in your name and email and you'll be sent a login to the school and you'll become a member of Food Forest U. And inside of there, there's the eight step path to creating a food forest. There's a lot of inspirational stuff about in, infinite abundance. There are also several other courses where I teach how I make my hair care products. I haven't used shampoo or hair coloring in probably seven or eight years and some other courses on how to make pain reliever, um, a, fun, a few other fun things, even a flower crown creator studio. So please do, if you're interested, click on the link below and find your way into Food Forest U. And I will see you inside the course. Aloha.